Picnic at Hanging Rock, by Joan Lindsay is a novel that blends the mysterious with the surreal, delving into themes of repression, the unknown, and the disintegration of order. The narrative centers around the unexplained disappearance of three schoolgirls and a teacher during an outing to the enigmatic Hanging Rock in 1900, set against the backdrop of an Australian landscape that seems both beautiful and ominous. This event acts as the novel's catalyst, creating a sense of foreboding that lingers throughout the story. At its core, the novel explores the tension between the natural world and the rigid structures of civilization. The girl's disappearance into the wilds of Hanging Rock represents the allure and terror of the untamed, a space where social conventions and human control dissolve. Lindsay presents nature not merely as a setting but as a force beyond comprehension, one that defies the rational explanations of the Victorian-era characters. The school, Appleyard College, symbolizes this strict, ordered world, with its emphasis on discipline, education, and propriety. Yet the girls' venture into the wilderness exposes the fragility of these human institutions, as the disappearance shakes the foundations of the school and its inhabitants. The ambiguity surrounding the fate of the girls is central to the novel's mystique. The lack of resolution, which leaves the disappearances unexplained, contributes to the unsettling atmosphere. Lindsay refuses to provide easy answers, forcing the reader to confront the limits of human knowledge and the unsettling possibility that some mysteries remain beyond human grasp. This decision not to resolve the central mystery has fueled much of the novel's enduring appeal, allowing it to transcend the conventions of a typical mystery novel and instead explore more existential questions. Character development is minimal, with the missing girls, particularly Miranda, remaining ethereal and otherworldly figures rather than fully fleshed-out characters. Miranda, described as angelic and distant, serves as a symbolic figure of purity and innocence, further emphasizing the contrast between the safety of Appleyard College and the chaotic unknown of the wilderness. Mrs. Appleyard, the headmistress, is portrayed as rigid and controlling, a figure whose authority crumbles as the events at Hanging Rock spiral out of control. The novel charts her psychological unraveling, reflecting how the disappearance of the girls triggers a broader collapse of societal and personal order. Mrs. Appleyard's inability to maintain control, both over the school and over herself, serves as a commentary on the vulnerability of rigid systems when faced with the inexplicable. Themes of femininity and sexuality are woven throughout the novel, with the girls' transformation from proper young ladies to wild, dreamlike figures in the bush signaling a break from societal expectations. Their journey into the wilderness becomes a metaphor for the exploration of repressed desires, which contrasts starkly with the strict decorum they are expected to maintain at the school. Lindsay subtly hints at the awakening of the girls' sexuality and individuality through their interactions with nature, which stands in stark contrast to the confined life they lead under Mrs. Appleyard's control. Picnic at Hanging Rock also reflects on the colonial experience in Australia. The landscape, vast and ancient, presents a formidable contrast to the European sensibilities of the characters, highlighting the cultural dislocation between the colonists and the land they inhabit. The rock itself, an imposing natural formation, seems to embody the mystical and primal forces of the land, which resist the colonists' attempts at understanding and control. The novel does not overtly address the indigenous Australian presence, but the looming, inscrutable nature of the rock hints at the ancient history and spirituality of the land that the colonizers cannot grasp. In essence, Picnic at Hanging Rock operates on multiple levels, blending mystery with metaphysical exploration. Lindsay's decision to leave the central enigma unresolved turns the novel into an examination of human limitations in the face of nature and the unknown. The novel's haunting atmosphere, combined with its exploration of societal repression, the fragility of order, and the clash between European settlers and the Australian wilderness, creates a narrative that lingers long after the final page. Its open-ended mystery invites interpretation and speculation, ensuring that the story remains a timeless and enigmatic masterpiece.